Have you ever struggled with sticking to a morning routine? Perhaps you gain momentum, but then things fall off, leaving you feeling guilty. We've all been told that consistency is the golden ticket to success, but what if we're approaching consistency wrong? What if it's not about doing the same things in the same way day in and day out? Because if we miss a day, a few days, or a few months, then it leaves us feeling guilty and we feel like a failure. So rather than striving for consistency, I've been trying a new thing where I strive for harmony and to be more in flow with my body's natural rhythm. And for me, that little mindset shift is actually working quite well. So I just wanted to share those thoughts with you as I go through my own morning routine. Lately, my mornings have been shining a lot brighter, which is a stark contrast from how it was feeling during more of those slower summer days. When I wake up each morning, I do a quick body scan and I ask myself, what do I need today? While I have a pretty strong pulse on what makes me feel best in the morning, I still like to approach each day like a new day and think of routine as a template rather than some rigid rule book. Some seasons are slow, introspective, and more restorative, while other seasons are fiery and filled with focus and direction. I kind of feel like I'm in that fiery season right now. After a tough summer of not feeling my best and my body and health feeling foreign to me, I've been feeling very motivated to take charge of my health and feeling so much gratitude for my regained energy as well as the calming peace and quiet and space that I have in my mornings. So I've been really making the most of it and riding the waves knowing that everything will up and flow and right now I'm in the flow. A little update, I started wearing my aura ring again after it was left in a drawer for almost a year. As I've been working on my sleep and my fitness, I also wanted to try out syncing my aura ring with the Natural Cycles app. So I've been tracking my basal body temperature for about seven years with Daisy, but it really felt like it was time for something more modern. And so far, I've really been enjoying it. Cycle syncing plays a big role in my approach to finding harmony and being more in flow with my body's natural rhythms. And using an app makes all of that's so much more approachable. Good morning, friends. It's a little after nine. I'm gonna make matcha and then I have to do a little bit of work, but I did carve out a chunk of this morning to afternoon to pack some stuff for Korea because by the time this video goes live, I'll be like two days out from my trip. We're only gonna be there for two weeks. I'm gonna pack pretty light, but I want to kind of gather what I think I'm bringing that way in case I need to run an errand or whatever I know in advance. So I'm gonna do that, but first matcha. <laughs>
This mug is from my friend Camille Stiles new collection, Kasazuma. It's her kitchen and ceramics line. It is so beautiful. So we're gonna use this today. I'm gonna start the packing process. I'm only gonna be in Korea for two weeks, which is not long enough, but I was just there in March, April. So that was about a three and a half week trip. I have videos showing how I prepped for it, going for the first time. Well, it wasn't my first time. My first time as an adult on my own, not following someone else's itinerary. So I'll link all those videos in the description, I also have a Notion template that I have in my free shared Notion hub. If you wanna opt into that, you'll get access to all of my free templates, including my soul trip planning template. And you can use this template for any trip you're planning, but I inputted all my soul recommendations, where I stayed, things that I did, all the pins on the map of places that I went, in case you want to check that out. In my Notion template, I have my flight information, things that I need to do before I travel, my packing list, things that I need in my carry-on that I want for airplane comfort. There's really not much that I want to buy prior to my trip because I just, I don't really need anything since I was just there, but I do plan on buying some foldable slippers that I can wear on the airplane because that was one thing that I wish that I had. I get up and pee so many times within the flight. It's a long flight. I think it's like a 12 hours or something. And I hate having to tie and untie my shoes. And I'm only bringing my sneakers, I'm pretty sure, because when I was there in April, I only wore sneakers. I didn't wear any of the other shoes that I had brought. I'm gonna pack really light this time because I wanna leave room in my suitcase to buy things. I know exactly the laundromat that I went to last time that I would go to again if I do need to wash clothes. So that's my plan. If you are planning a trip, you can grab my template and I'm gonna share with you kind of my process for getting started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a look at my packing list and scan that. I've got some laundry I need to do. I'm gonna just start grabbing things and we'll go from there. When I first went to Korea, I brought both an F and a C. And then I found out that actually this one fits a lot tighter. So you wanna get the type F plug adapter. This one will work, but it's kind of a loser fit. So I'm just gonna bring these two. And I already got my passport out. I'm just gonna kind of grab and pull things that I think I'll wanna wear and just 
throw them in a pile. <laughs> I'm bringing two different hats. My green Marty McCready, got this in Korea. My Boba bucket hat from a jar of pickles. And I know I'll probably buy a hat there. So I only need those two. For the plane, I've got my eye mask that I got from M Cosmetics. Got my mom one too. It has little holes for your eyeballs. So it's super comfortable, as you can see. Oh my God, I can't wait to wear this. It's gonna be so fun. <laughs> I've been waiting for this trip just to whip out this eye mask. I haven't worn it yet, so. Got my neck pillow, which I really don't like because it like pushes my head forward. So I might look for another chargers. External battery, highly recommend this one from Anchor. It came in clutch last time. I carried this pretty much every single day I was in Korea. It also can like stand up on its own if you wanna like have your phone magnetized to it and just say, stay up while you're, I don't know, watching a show or something. I'll be bringing my Kindle, of course, but I will be starting a new series by the time I go to Korea. I think I'm gonna be starting the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Moss. I'm probably gonna bring one nice purse, one tote bag, my mom's long chomp bag, and then maybe a big fanny pack or something. I feel like I'm in a pretty good place as far as clothes go. All I need to pack are my electronics, so like my vlog camera and my toiletries, skincare and all of that I'll do the day before. I'm so excited. I can't wait to go with my mom. This is actually the first time my mom and I have ever had a true mother-daughter trip in my entire life. And it's gonna be so special being back in the motherland with my mother. <laughs> and we're gonna see family again. I just know it's gonna be a really memorable trip. I was debating whether I wanted to vlog and my mom was like, you mean you're not, you weren't gonna vlog? Don't you wanna remember this trip? And she's right, I definitely wanna document my time with my mom. When I look back, I really love that I documented where I went and it didn't take me out of the moment. And so I just know that I'm gonna look back and really be glad that I have this footage with her. So I'll definitely bring my camera and other than that, should be pretty good to go. Thank you all for tuning in for another vlog and I'll see you all in Seoul. <laughs> Bye.